Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you something in Photoshop. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the, cl um, the clone stamp tool. So you can see here, um, I removed the sticks. The top layer is uh, where I removed it. The bottom original layer, I kept the same. Okay. So we're going to kind of work with that and show you guys a little trick. All right. So um, you can see it's not perfect right here, okay? Let me kind of fix that right there. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do, um, even before you open up Photoshop, is you're going to want to go ahead and click on this little apple. You're going to go ahead and click on System Preference. Go to your mouse. And just make sure that the right click is set to Secondary, okay? Because there is a left and right click, all right? So Primary on the left side, secondary on the right side. Okay, so let me kind of get out of this. I hit no, don't save. All right, and we're gonna kind of start from the beginning. All right, so you'll see that there's uh, folders on your desktop. So depending on how you logged in, uh, if you logged in in photo two and you're in photo two, you'll see that, okay? So photo two, and we're gonna go to uh, uh, remove and restore then you're going to go over where it says remove sticks. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag that down to your desktop. Very important that you drag that down. Okay, I'm just going to replace that. All right, you do not want to work off that because then, guess what? You're going to ruin everybody else's photos because everybody else is working off that same photo. All right, so we want to drag that to your desktop. Then we're going to go ahead and you notice that's a CR2 file. A CR2 file is called a raw file and it's going to open up in this camera raw. Okay, and what we're gonna want to do, it's probably gonna look something pretty dark like this. Okay, everything was kind of like something like that. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and try to fix it. All right, so we go ahead and we slide the exposure, we slide the contrast, and you're gonna go ahead and look to get it where you think is right. All right, so we're just kind of going back and forth here, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of vibrance, get some some of that blue in there. A little bit of saturation all right to me that looks good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and hit open now it opens up inside Photoshop and before we do anything we want to go ahead and grab that background layer and we're gonna drag it down to the new layer window okay and that makes a background copy all right so we don't want to go ahead and work on this at all because that's our original the top one is what we're gonna be editing with we're gonna go ahead and grab our uh, or magnify tool and if we go ahead and right click we can hit fit on screen and we if we move in you can move out okay you just click hold it down and move it in and out all right now what we're gonna do all right let me move move in a little bit we're gonna go ahead and now grab our uh, clone stamp okay so we want to make sure it's the top one selected if we hover over right click there's uh there's two different ones we want to make sure we're on the top one and, and again, if we click over here and then right click, we want to set our hardness to zero. Now the hardness, let me kind of show you for a second if I can pull something over here. Um, what can I show you for hardness? Let me grab this. I'll just grab this for a second. Let me here. Um, grab that. I'm going to grab that. Okay. See how soft the edges are it, as opposed to like the hardness. If I grab this, all right, and then moved it over here. See how hard? that edge is versus that, okay? The softer the edge, the better it is to blend, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and right click, bring that back to zero, and we're gonna wanna, wanna do is, we can't just erase this, because if we erase it, then it, we're just gonna have an empty hole. So what we're gonna wanna do is use our clamp, uh, clamp, uh, stone, <laughs> ah, the uh, clone stamp, there you go, all right. And we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Okay, so we're gonna hold down the option. Option's gonna be one hands on, one finger's on option. The other one's on my mouse. I'm gonna click to define a source. Okay, and then I'm gonna move over here and I'm dragging that in. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm moving this area over here. Okay, you can see like I could try, try that for you over here. So if I clicked on that, see that? If I move my mouse, if you look on your keyboard, right next to the P, you got those brackets. If you hit those brackets, you can make your make it grow or make it small. See how you can have like a sit. I'm grabbing this, I'm moving this, and I'm moving that to here. 
See, so I can have two. So what we're doing is we're grabbing this and moving it over to here. All right. I'm going to work a little bit smaller here. Grab this, move this over. And what you want to do is you want to watch out for these sisters. We call those sisters. So you see that and that. So we click on that. We'll just get rid of those because we don't want anything that looks like it's been duplicated. All right. We're going to grab some of this, bring this down. And then that little wave, okay, I think it's a wave. You're going to grab the top of this and extend that longer. So it looks like it's kind of blending in, all right? And we're going to continue. We're grabbing it in different spots. We're going to grab this, make it look like it goes over, all right? And we're just bringing this over. So it's a, a combination. I'm hitting my option and I'm clicking. Hit my option and clicking. Again, hit my option and clicking. Bring this over and I'm looking I'm like looking okay do I grab this over here if I grab that that's gonna look like a little sister see the sisters okay oh how I undid that step backwards like undo is option command Z all right if you keep on hitting those that would uh, bring you backwards in time all right there's sisters here get rid of the sister all right and you can see you can kind of work kind of fast all right we kind of get rid of this and then we See, uh, that doesn't look quite right. I'm going to grab that. Okay. And for this, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Oh, there's a sister. Get rid of the sister. Okay. Grab some of this. Bring this down. So I'm actually removing a couple of sticks here. All right. Moving around, moving around. Up. Oh, what is this? Get rid of that. All right. And there we go. Fix that. Now we're going to back up and look. Up, oh, more sticks. Get my clone stamp. Here's a trick too. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you uh, hover over, see where it says the S. It says uh, clone stamp S. If you click on S, it goes to that tool. I think this one's Z. Yep. So Z goes to the. So so instead of clicking, having to click over here, if you hit Z on your keyboard, it goes here. S goes to the clone stamp. All right. So. Sometimes it's good to kind of figure those out. All right. I'm going to grab this. What is that? What is going on over here? Okay. All right. I'm going to get a little bit bigger. Maybe I get re remove that whole stick. What do you think? Get rid of that. All right. All right. There's this stick. And that over there. Okay. And your whole idea is, was there ever a stick there? Okay, is, it, is there any evidence that there was a stick there? Okay, maybe that little stick, you can kind of get rid of that if you wanted to. All right. All right, so when you're finished with this, oh, I kind of messed that up. When you're finished with that, what I want you to do is, is save this. You're going to go to File, Save As. All right. You're going to save this, instead of says format, I want you to save it as a JPEG. And I want you to name it your first and last name. So, me. All right. And sticks. All right. And we're saving it as a JPEG. Desktop. Which says format JPEG is down there. Okay. Hit save. Hit OK. And then now that's saved to your desktop. I should have. Yep. And we're going to submit it in for grading. Okay, so if I'm in Photo Block 3, open up the Turn In folder, and I'm going to click on that and drag that right there. Okay, do not put it in the ZZ graded because what I do is I as I grade it, after I grade it, I move it in the ZZ graded. Okay, so I want you to remove the sticks. All right, once you are done with that, okay, yeah, I want you to go ahead and remove the hut. All right, you see where it says Remove Hut? We're going to click, drag that inside Photoshop. And you got to remove that. <laughs> a little bit more challenging. Again, you're going to go ahead and duplicate the layer, and you got to you got to come across, and figure out what am I going to do here? You know, how am I going to remove it? And again, it just takes patience. Okay. So again, just kind of slowly, and then you're going to have to figure out what you want to do here. Do you want to try to keep that path? Do you want to fill in the path? Do you want to keep that path? Fill it in. But what the again, the objective is to make it look like it's realistic. And you don't want any patterns. Like I'm starting to create a pattern here. I might grab some of this, bring this on over here, okay? And then 
you know, make it look good. All right. So but I'm going to let you kind of fool around with that. I want to see what you guys come up with. And then I tell you what, I'll give you extra credit if you get these two done and if you start working on this guy. All right. Where, there, where are you here? If they go to remove, restore this one, that is pretty crazy if you were able to fix that. Uh, actually, I got this photo for, for, from a friend of mine. He restores photos. And he got paid $500 to get that fixed. So, hey, there's money in it. And, uh, you know, it probably would take, I don't know, a half hour to do. Um, somebody that knows a little bit of Photoshop, you guys, they take, I don't know, I think you guys are pretty good. We'll see how long it takes. All right, guys, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Make sure when you're done, you save it your first and last name, okay, and you submit that inside the turn-in folder. Good luck, and we'll talk to you guys soon.